Hey everyone, it's John Isaias from The Automator, and in this video, you're going to learn what's going to be covered at HKCon that's coming up here on August 6th, so we're really close here. If you haven't signed up already, the URL is above my head here, and stick around to the end because you're going to see a lot of the stuff we're going to outline and walk through and talk about what's going to be covered. There's one main lecture and then some panels, but the it's going to be interactive, right? So we're, we're not, I'm not streaming it on my YouTube channel. I'm going to record it, so it will be recorded, and then you can share it later. I'm going to try to break them into different modules, so each panel each you know uh section section thank you will be broken into different videos that way yep. you pick and choose but uh let's go ahead and take a look at the outline let me share screen share there we go so if you go to um the automator slash hk con it'll it'll take you to this page and you can you can look at it yourself but there's a link here to sign up or you can use the link above me yeah well, the first thing i do want to mention is there's two qualifications one is hey you speak english right because um, yeah we're going to be speaking might, english, you know, yeah. leading his lecture in spanish yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's the, now the other one is that it you can go if you don't know any auto hockey that's perfectly fine but we're not covering topics that are really for noobs right the assumption is you've been working with auto hockey for at least six months you know or that you're a programmer in other languages for at least a year because if you have either of those things, it'll be a lot more valuable. And that's what we're targeting as our audience. Right, that's right. It will make more sense to you because if you go and you have zero experience, probably when we mention some things, the first thing you're going to say is like, why do I need that? If I just want to change the name of a file, like, yeah, yeah it would be it would be too right. much for what you need. Yeah, and if you're putting questions in the chat, and that's the whole thing is, so we're going to be streaming it on Zoom, you know, in live Zoom, and then in the chat, you can ask questions. But if you're saying, how do I make a message box? Like, we're, we're not going to be addressing that. <laughs> um, so we're going to start up again, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? Um, that'll be just Tom and I just saying hello, welcome, look forward, because Tom and I have been working on this. And, and then uh, and then we're going to start off with the first panel discussion, which is going to be talking about, and this is a little misleading in the title here, version one, version two, because it's a lot of different aspects. There's a programmatic aspect of the comparison between the yes. two, of similarities and differences and benefits of, you know, oh, I'd say each one, right? Pros and cons. Yeah. Of one. But there's a whole other dimension of making the switch, getting the community to switch to version two. When is it going to happen? Uh, we're going to mentioned that you know at hkcon we'll talk about when we think it's going to be make that switch happen um and then like um tank also is going to be an interesting one to listen to this he he is the admin to the main admin to the forum the auto hockey forum yes. so he'll be interesting to to have some plus and dimitri has done a lot of work in v2 so is isaiah so we have mm -hmm. some good experts here that are very familiar with it use it a lot um, and know it well so that should be fun uh, the next one from 11 to 12 Eastern time would be the, the different programming approaches. You know, like I have that one video with 17 different programming approaches and which ones to use and when and why. So it'll be a fun conversation just with people who've been doing a lot of the stuff of which ones you do. What do you take into account? There's a lot of things you need to consider when you're uh, going to solve a problem. Yeah. And probably we might hear from the people that are attending what Right. The solutions they might have come up with and why they chose Which, that instead of a normal you know approach yeah. or something like and that Isaiah, it's a really good point that you said that because all <laughs> except for this one which is the next one we're going to talk about that you're leading they're all panel discussions right so, so you, it is an open discussion that's right yeah you, you guys and and you know depending on the flow and stuff and how difficult your question is you can just like our friday calls and our webinars you can unmute yourself and probably ask the question uh, but, you know, we're going to have a lot of interactions between us, but it really should be also with you guys, too, right? That's yeah. the whole point of this, right, is otherwise we could just do recordings and not worry about it. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But main, mainly it's the conversation. Right. That's the point. Yeah. And which is going to be, you know, I've done a couple where I've had like eight experts uh and it's man those were fun remember those days like we had <laughs> yeah we had many people yeah. in yeah the conversation are, are really really lively when yeah. everybody chimes in with something else and if the people from the audience can also chime in with their real life experience that might be great because uh, we as programmers mainly do stuff for programmers <laughs> most of the time we do have client work but sometimes when you do stuff on your own for your you know uh things that help you you might come up with very creative solutions that we might have never thought about right so it would be great to hear from those as well right 
So now, Isaias, why don't you give us an idea of what you're having planned in the lecture about objects? Yeah, so do you remember that we have a, a, a class on our site that what? is for, yeah, you know, this objects uh, course. Now, but what we want to do is bring out some very uh, um, important topics regarding that, that I think they are not really that uh, discussed that often, which are meta functions and actually some other uh, uh, details that even though they are covered in the class, I think it is good for us to kind of like do a very quick introductory or actually kind of like overview about them in case you haven't heard of them it's good to actually know them yeah and that was sorry i was gonna say because i know i talked to john and um dylan who both had been working with classes for quite a while they went through your course and they still said wow i i actually learned a lot right <laughs> and, and yeah. so even people who are been using objects like for me too i've used objects for a long time but the, a lot of the stuff you cover in that class i'm like wow the course i'm like whoa this is you know Basically, yeah, what I'm going to do is just bring a little bit of attention to, I mentioned like the meta functions and also the inheritance part of them. And that's what I'm going to kind of like cover in general. And it is just because even though you know you're there, even though you know they are there, most of the time people don't use it because they don't know when to use it. So I wanted to kind of like give a little bit of an introduction. If you need a little bit more details, we have the course. And in general, even if you know, if you cannot make it to the course or whatever, you can ask the questions during and uh, because we're going to have a little section that is open, open questions. So you can ask questions regarding it if you if you want to kind of like get more information about it. And I would be more than happy to uh, try to clarify those. Yeah. And that, that's the thing. We're going to have, you know, people modding, watching the chat at all times as well. And so that's where, you know, even after the lesson, if your question doesn't get answered, depending on who's doing what, they might be able to, you know, answer your questions, right? This is, it's all about helping everybody there, right? Like, the yes. lesson, of it. now, and to your point, as I, the, the lunch, because we do, we want to plan a little bit of time to, to have us take a break and get some food, but we're not going to stop. We're just going to leave it open and let people ask questions. And then if they want I to. might step yeah. out to get a sandwich, but I'll come back in, but other people could be answering questions, right? So, yeah, sure. It, it should be a lot of that should be fun and very interesting of what people bring up yes now the next one on on regex and string manipulation and you and i have done a lot of different stuff on on using using an object to parse something versus a regular expression versus stir split on stuff and it's yes. it's interesting of which one to use and when and you got to take into account that code maintenance kind of thing as well right like the project we were working on the other day it's this really complex thing and it was like you know what why don't we break it down break it down to something yeah, easier to, so to yeah that is right so uh, regular expressions and strings is something that you're going to find so often in programming so that it is a good it's a good kind of foundational topic to have yeah i'd say it's far more common than I ever would have guessed. Imagined, yeah. I, so, I really so, think, it, and I'm like, you know, so much of our time is in, you get it, something, but you don't need it exactly. <laughs> right, but basically when, when you think about it, like somebody sat down and created this regular expression kind of thing, it is because it was so needed at that time. And still to this day, that hasn't changed a bit. Like the same regular expressions that we have been using for years is basically the same. They're very minor changes to it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know what's funny is this, because I thought you were going to go a different route with it. But um, I was going to say, how bored would you have to be to create something this? And I'm like, the thing is, it doesn't matter how bored you'd be. Nobody would ever do this. There had to be this need. Right. It has to be a said, real like, need. Yeah. And it's it's amazing what regex can do. And so that's the other one is like, you know, we'll get through some stuff, but maybe if you have a you know a problem, maybe we have time, we can, you know, help. We can go ahead and and we're gonna talk about some tools that are available that might help right. you out when you're right. uh, building your regular expressions and stuff. So that's great. Yeah. Uh, the next one is a really fun one to me. I know you and I both talk a lot about the different IDEs. We we personally yeah ones but we have different goals and different needs yeah, right? and different exactly. levels of what we're doing and that's what'll be a really fun one let's see if maestria makes it there because i'm really interested in what he says because studio he's he's not even programming in auto hotkey really anymore unless he does mm. stuff specifically for me 
uh, but he he does uh, stuff in like C sharp, I think, and yeah. he's using VS Code. Um, and so I'm really curious if he says, you know what, um, I you know he's like, I wonder if he still when he programs on hotkey if he's switched to VS Code or if he's using <laughs> Studio stuff. Like I still love it, use it, right? I'm just curious yep. um, what what he'll say. But the um, data storage approaches like that is you know any files JSON, XML, SQL. Um, two yep. different types of SQLite and SQL MySQL. Um, they, they remote have... remote connections to to, to SQL <laughs> databases and stuff like that. But again, like like regular expressions, data storage is the other part of Huge. of you know, of programming. Yeah. Like ninety yeah. nine percent of the time, yeah. your program needs to keep track of something or store information. Yeah, you will need to at least know that section as well. Yeah, and then we're you know closing it out. Just Tom and I'll come back on and just wrap it up. But what I told Tom was like, you know, there might be because this is the first time we've ever done this. There might be a, a, a camaraderie that people want to hang out. I'm like, I'll leave the Zoom meeting open, and I'll leave. I'll probably hang out too, right? Because I I love yeah. talking to other people that are that are on this. It's more about the mindset than it is programming it on a hotkey because we, yeah. we're all people that want to get stuff done and don't sit back. And you know, we're we're right very proactive but um my plan is just to kind of keep it open and keep talking for a while um just to see right. who's working and on I, what. I think and and correct me if i'm wrong most of the information that we're going to present here is not really about coding or no, right, code right. itself right. it's mainly about ideas how to approach what to do and those kind of things so probably we're not going to be showing a lot of code and that's okay. And that's the point of the discussion. It's mainly about talking in general, not really seeing code, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we can always go watch someone's video on code, yeah. right? And yeah. That, that's why I, I thought about initially, and it was like, you know, that panel, the panel really is, that's what makes it unique. A lecture, we can record a lecture at any point in time and release it as a video. Doesn't yeah. matter, right? Yeah. But the the panel that's what we're we got some great people and there'll be more people right these are the ones that i've kind of signed up to make sure they're there but there are other people that i'm hoping that that um i just don't they will show up right <laughs> there's a lot of that that you guys will know them they're they're you know famous so to speak in the well-known <laughs> community um, i reached out to a lot of people and a lot of people showed interest and then we just didn't have a ton of signups it was going to be two days and we said let's make it one day and then it just was like okay now i don't need all these people, but hopefully they're still going to attend and, and offer some good you know, comments and value. Okay. So awesome. we hope to see you there. Remember the URLs over my head to sign up uh, and we'd love to see. You. And we will after edit the videos and release them, but you know, that's going to take a little while. So hope you can make yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Bye. Bye.